Hey guys, Zeb here. Today's video is going to be about how to set up a Git Response autoresponder. Hopefully this video provides you some value. It's going to be a step-by-step -step process on how to set up the autoresponder feature within Git Response. On to the video. Hey guys, Zeb here. Today I wanted to go over how to set up an autoresponder with Git Response. I've tried a couple different autoresponder platforms, Aweber, Sendlane, and GitResponse, and GitResponse is by far my favorite. So I figured I would go ahead and walk you through on how to set up an autoresponder very quickly. So the first thing you do when you log into GitResponse is come in here to the dashboard. There is contacts, email marketing, automation, which is workflows, landing pages, webinars, form surveys, and CRM. So you, could, you got all these features with Git response right off the bat. Now, depending on what plan you have, you'll have different, uh, different amounts, amount of landing pages, for instance. If you just get the basic, you only can make one landing page. So you, you wanna look at that when you sign up. So the first thing's first. What we wanna do when we make an autoresponder, we wanna go to contacts. First thing we wanna do is create a list. So we just want to name the list and we hit create and your list is going to show up. So the next thing we want to do is go back and then we want to go to email marketing. All right. And up at the top, you see newsletters, autoresponders, drafts, RSS to email and statistics. We want to click on autoresponders and we want to create an autoresponder. So you want to name your autoresponder, autoresponder. test. We're going to send this out on and the very first email that you send. If you're going to make a series, you always want to send it on day zero. Day zero is like immediately right now, as soon as they sign up. All right. So you always want to start with zero unless you want to delay it. But I always send a welcome, welcome email right off the bat on day zero. So then you want to come down here and you want to pick your list. So you want to pick your list that you just created. You want to send this email immediately or you can send it with a delay of an hour or two hours or 12 hours or however. And but the very first email, you want to send it out immediately, say, you know, welcome to my email list or blah, blah, blah. You can send it which days to send it on. And you can say, you know what, I don't want to send it on Sundays. So if somebody does, I will just start it on Monday. But I keep all these checked. All right. The next thing we want to do is we want to create an email. So you go to create new email. And guys, this is very simple. So you want a message, a message name for your email. And this, this is something that's just for your use. The, your subscribers will not see this. So we'll say message one of series. All right. And you can name this whatever you want. Subject, hey, Mesh point, open this. And we want to say next. So you're going to select this. This is going to be a default that you set up at the very beginning, your email address. So what we're going to do now is we hit next. And then we can come in here. We can pick different templates or whatever we want. There's many different templates. You can go over here and you can look at different uh, different stuff depending on what you're doing, right? Maybe you're an online coach or whatever it is. I just like to start from scratch and I like to pick a blank template. So I'm going to use this template just for, just for this uh, tutorial. So you come in here, you can say, you know what? I don't want no images. I just want straight text. So if you want an image, you can go in here and you can set up an image, uh, whatever image you have on your computer or downloaded from uh, the internet, put in here and then talk about it. But we're going to delete that right now. We're just going to write a quick email. All right. Hi. Welcome to my email list. Thank you. Thanks for signing up. Oops. All 
first thing, please add me to the whitelist. Blah, blah, blah. All right, guys, you get the you get the the gist of this, right? So you write your email. You're basically saying, "Okay, welcome to my email list. Thanks for signing up. Please add me to the whitelist in your email provider. Uh, you know, click this link for your free download or whatever you're doing to email. All right." So once you get done your email, you want to come over here and you say, you know what, I want to look at it in mobile mobile preview. Oh, okay, I save it. So we want to save a draft. So it's saved. We can come over here, hit mobile preview, and it's going to show you what what it looks like on a mobile phone. So you want to make sure that your email looks fine when it on a mobile phone because most of your people are going to be looking at this on their mobile all right you can send a test message so for instance i could send a test message for myself we can look at their inbox we can spam score it so it'll give you like a spam score you know your results blah 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 so you want to make sure that you're a decent score and you don't want to be at the five level because it's it'll be recognized as spam. So right now we're under five, so it's probably not going to be recognized as spam. It's a pretty cool feature. If you're writing a lot of stuff and putting a lot of links, uh, just keep keep that at the top of your mind when you're writing emails. All right. So it's as easy as that. And then after we're done, okay, we're happy with our email. We're happy with our pictures, our links, blah blah blah. Next step. We come in here, we have our autoresponder name. This is our list. It's going to be sent on the zero day immediately as soon as they click this. We're going to say save and publish. And guys, it's that easy. Now you have an autoresponder set up for your messages. Now, now guys, setting up the autoresponder is the easy part. Now you got to send traffic to whatever to get that autoresponder working. But that's how you set up the autoresponder feature in Get Response. Hopefully this helped you. Uh, if you have any questions, we'd like to see more detail on how to set up like a basic landing page or something like that. We can go through that process, but I would not be doing that in Get Response. All right. All right, guys, take care. Peace out. I hope you have a great day and I hope I've provided you some value. If so, please comment below, like the video and subscribe to the channel give me some comments let me know what you like what you don't like we'd like to see in the future we'll make that happen all right guys peace out